Hey guys, how are we all doing today? And today we'll be watching Human Centipede First Sequence. I have been avoiding this movie for a long time. I just never really wanted to watch it. It didn't sound like my cup of tea, but I said to myself, you know what? Let's do this. It's October. It's that time of the year to get saucy. I don't know why I used that. I don't know why. And um, let's give it a shot. It's called Human Centipede First Sequence. came out in 2009. And this is the story. A mad scientist kidnaps and mutilates a trio of tourists in order to reassemble them into a human centipede created by stitching their mouths to each other's rectums. Sounds like my Friday night. So, <laughs> I should have got high and had something to drink before this video because the story sounds batshit crazy. But, I'm excited. And let's motherfucking do this, boys and girls. I can't... Ah, oh, these fucking names. I can't... No, I can't read these names. Goof D. Coding. Is this a foreign movie? Is he jerking off? Is he jerking off? <laughs> is he... Is this elderly bastard jerking off right now? Look at him. He... Great start to the movie. Was he checking off to the pictures of these dogs? Dude, you picked the wrong place to stop. He's got a crazy scientist of nice sunglasses, but oh my god. Oh, is he going for a shit or something? What is he doing? Driving directions to a nightclub called Bunker. Yes, Bunker. Bunker. <laughs> I would want, I would love to go to that nightclub. So these guys are going to run into that weirdo who was jerking off in the car. Was he jerking off in the car? Let me know in the comments. Did I misread it? <laughs> I think we're supposed to turn. Turn? I thought you knew exactly where we were going. Idiots. <laughs> well, they are in Germany. I don't know. Oh, this, this is not a nice location to be in. Oh, God. You're going to see him behind a tree. I can just see it. Here's the thing. Shit like this kind of scares me. Not, you know, ghosts. And what scares me is people doing fucked up shit to other people. Things like the strangers. That shit scares me. You know, and whatever this guy does. Fucking. He said fucking. Okay, okay, roll your window up. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. He was creepier, that guy or the scientist. <laughs> Why was he doing? <laughs> This movie's on drugs. It reminds me of um, that movie with um, Keanu Reeves when those two chicks, you know, are soaking wet, they knock on, and they just fucking ruin Keanu Reeves' life. Oh, you guys are fucked up. Oh my god, that guy's terrifying. Look at his face. Can we come in? You can we use your phone so we can call the car company service? You chicks have made the biggest mistakes in your life. Look how he's staring at him. <laughs> he's kind of funny looking though, I'm not gonna lie. Have a seat. What's that painting in the background? <laughs> what the fuck? At least two kids, two babies. I don't like human beings. Verdammt nochmal, kannst du nicht aufpassen, du dumme Sau. I'm sorry. Deine Augen im Kopf. Trampel. 
That's your other one. No, no, no we, it's okay. I, it's okay. We can just share. Cuckoo. Fetch a towel. This, um, this is terrifying. This guy pulls the weirdest face he's ever seen in my entire life. It's like he makes like mini orgasms every single time in this movie. I could get him. Shit. Don't take it personally. What you mean you're killing him? You didn't ask for this, he just wanted to take a shit. Look at his face. He enjoys it. Ago, I designed an ever seen operation, not separating anymore, but creating. I transformed my three Rottweilers into a beautiful three hound construction. <laughs> That'll be me. That'll be me if I was in the situation. I'll be screaming over and over, and over, and over again. Of anus and mouth. From A to B and B to C. Connect. He gives like a Christopher Walken impression, but 20 times creepier. Quick. Quick. Run. You need help, you're a sick man. He certainly is. I'm a sick man. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't help up immediately, I will <laughs> cut your knees and pull your teeth out one by one without any anesthesia. It's your choice. <laughs> Open the door. Find the weapon, find something. Call me crazy, but I'm actually enjoying this. It's fucking insane. He has a picture of that next to his bed. What a free. He's <laughs> put his sunglasses on. I'll just drown underneath, I would. Actually, I don't know. I'm... Human instinct, you wouldn't want to do that. So she'll be in the middle. That means... Oh, no. So if the guy or woman who's in the front, if he needs a shit or she needs a shit, she's going to have that shit in the mouth. Ah, shit. <laughs> The overall's cut off again. Sorry! What are you doing? <laughs> Bitch! How about you go first, get help, then she'll be, f you know, you can't, you can't drag her. In your condition, you're gonna take her, who's asleep, by the way. Oh, this is such a stupid... You deserve this now. That's just being stupid. You could have went first. You could have speed for it. Run as fast as you can. You are a fucking moron. You could have got away. It actually bothered me how stupid that lady was. It actually has really bothered me. It's can it hasn't ruined the movie, but it's really pissed me off. Like, I get it, you're a friend, you want to help her, but you're in no position to drag her across all the woods. Because you don't even know where you're going either. And in that weather condition, in your condition, and you're trying to do that. Do you know what this guy reminds me of? Like, Tommy Wiseau's dad or something. They should do the room too and have him as Tom Wiseau's dad. Oh, yeah! I did it! 
Angel, we did it! I'm so happy for you. Oh, Taurus. He's crying out of happiness. Sick fuck. <laughs> That's me when I finish my exams. That's me when I finish my exams. <laughs> God, look at how <laughs> he just bit his feet. <laughs> oh, look at his face. <laughs> Kamikaze shit. 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 shit hole, is that what he just said? He was in such a good mood. Bite my boots! Bite my boots! Bite my boots! Oh, Mr. Kamikaze, the chicken! <laughs> this is funny. This is turned into a comedy. Dude, I'm gonna be sick. I can't. I can't. I can just imagine the sh oh. Doing a follow-up operation. It's like Tuna and Hooch when Tom Hanks is trying to. Oh, thanks for the arse. Oh, shot of that weird guy. When Tom Hanks is trying to sleep and Hooch is just constantly barking. How you I feel so sorry for those two ladies, man. They had to eat that guy's shit. They had to swallow that guy's feces. That is probably the most disgusting thing of all time. What's that grill? Don't very lick it. <laughs> I've got two strong and healthy replacements. So enjoy. Mm. Is this gonna work? Can he get those two? That dude and who he stood next to is a big dude. This guy's a twig. The guy in the front's like, I had a fucking enough of this shit. So that chick at the back, she's screwed. Nice. Again. Keep stabbing the fucker. I'll keep on stabbing. Get a knife out. No. Get that knife and kill him so he doesn't get up. How are you guys going to go those stairs? Especially if that third girl, well, the third person, is dying. Good luck. Good luck, my friend. No chance now. Look at his back. He's been whipped. What the fuck? This guy is getting weirder and weirder. As the movie goes on, finish this guy off. Come on, dude. I don't even know your name, but I believe in you. Yeah. Round one. Fight. No. You fucking idiot. 
You just fucked over the girl. The two girls. Fire! Quick! Come on, headshot, baby. Nice. 50 points. Extra 50 points. Kill streak unlocked. UAV online. Crystal Walken mixed with Tommy Wiseau. And you have this guy. Look, they can't move. Because this guy killed himself. Wow. So much for thinking about them, dude. I don't like the guy in the front at first, but when he killed himself, like... Hopefully someone comes by and saves the day and helps her out, but... What a fucked up situation to be in. And that was... Human... Centipede. Um, I have no words to describe what I've just seen. It's like I've been mentally raped for an hour and a half. That movie was... It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. It was just... It's one of those movies where you watch once and you never watch it again. <laughs> Unless you're in a really fucked up crazy mood. Because that was insane. <sighs> the guy who plays this German scientist. Props to you. That guy is creepy, hilarious, and weird all at the same time. He should be Tommy. He is, probably is Tommy Rousseau's dad. He probably is. He looks just like Tommy Rousseau. Just weirder. Mixed with some Christopher Walken. <laughs> Like, you could tell the guy had a great time playing this villain. And the checks, they weren't bad. They, they had some corny line deliveries, especially in the beginning. But didn't say much towards the end. Um, the guy, the Asian guy, I liked him at first because, you know, it's something, that would be me in that situation. I'd, I'd just be swearing constantly and freaking out. And I do like the scenes where he's trying to make him walk with a newspaper in his mouth and he's being defiant. He try he bites his leg, you know. There's some funny moments and he pisses off the scientist and the scientist whips him. The scientist kicks him in the face. And, um, yeah, it's a fucking insane, insane movie. And... <laughs> it's like Hereditary, but totally, for a totally different reason. Hereditary... It was great, but I'll never watch it again because it's so downbeat. But that is a better that is a better quality movie. This is so weird and so batshit crazy that I'm not gonna be enticed to watch it again. I know they've made sequels after this, and I guess as I guess as his fan base, but it's one of those movies where you watch it once and you and you're fine with it. There's no need to watch it again. I didn't expect the guy to die at the end, even though you know you. You know, it was the likely option because, you know, those two guys were there. But there's sequels to this movie, so it's kind of weird. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this movie. This movie is, it's a, it's a, I wanted to use the word fun. It's a traumatizing an hour and a half. It's definitely not a movie that I've seen done before in terms of this kind of, <laughs> this kind of torture, fucking free the, rec, the rectum and the mouth. And I would hate to be the guy, the person in the middle you have to eat the shit just to get food. <sighs> that scene made me gag. If they showed any more of that, I would have been sick. 100%. But yeah, that's my reaction to Human Centipede. What a fucking... What? I have no words. I didn't like it. I didn't hate it. I'm just traumatized. Give me a couple of weeks and then maybe I'll tell you what I really think. Because I don't know what... To... He had a really good villain. He's a good villain. Yeah, there's some some personality to him. Even you know, you could tell he's a weirdo. With you know, he's an introvert. You know, he's obsessed with this thing. He he's he done it before to a bunch of Rottweilers, which is a goddamn shame. Poor dogs. And um, he, there's some funny moments of him though. 
So, that you know, get a blend of everything from that kind of villain. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. You know, I want to take a shower because I need a shower after seeing this movie. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.